advice would you give for freshers or for working professionals so that they can also crack a company like JP Morgan? Like you don't just go and talk with them like you're talking to your prof or your <laughs> be, be, be professional there. So that's it. Like and So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Onkar with us. Onkar, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So myself Onkar, I currently work in JP Morgan Chase as an SD1. I graduated in 2023 from NIT Nagpur from Computer Science Branch. So that's a short intro about myself. Yeah, and Onka is here to share his interview experience at JP Morgan. So tell us everything, man. How was it? What were the rounds? What happened? Yeah, so it all started with an online assessment. So you have to like, there are basic lead code, medium to easy level questions. Mm -hmm. Two questions there are, and you get around uh, 45 minutes to solve them. So that's like a decent level of DSC if you are good enough then you can easily clear that round so once your online assessment is done then on the next day itself if you pass that assessment then mm -hmm. there is a virtual interview okay. so here the virtual interview is quite interesting because it's an not an in-person interview it is judged mm -hmm. by an online machine so it's like they will ask you what you can say behavioral type questions it's not a yeah. technical interview at all so mm -hmm. it's like a diff like different process than most of the other companies so here they will ask any situation based questions and as i said that it's not an in-person interview it's on higher view so here you make sure that you have good lighting conditions so that mm -hmm. camera is captured keep your facial gestures good enough that you don't show that you are confused or you show confidence in your answers what they are they are like very basic behavioral questions you mm -hmm. don't need to buy hard anything or go prepared you just go in your normal flow and you can answer them mm -hmm. so after this round there is a final hackathon so you must be aware of like it's quite famous code for good so mm -hmm. it's like uh, hackathon where it's like all india level hackathon hi everyone do you also want to crack a company like jp morgan atlassian or even google and do you want to get a hike of up to 100 percent from where you are right now then you need to have a lot of skills under your belt you need to be good at dsa and problem solving you need to have a good hand in development and you need to know the latest tech stack and apart from that you also need to have a good resume and let me tell you how Boss Coder can help you with all of those things. So with the help of Boss Coder structured curriculum, you'll be learning DSA, you'll be getting good at problem solving. Apart from that, you'll be learning full stack web development where you'll be learning the latest tech stack, both in front end and back end. And apart from all of this, you'll also be getting placement support as well. And the best part about Boss Coder is that you can select your own mentors who will be guiding you one to one. So you have a list of mentors from which you can select the one you want to and you can get one-to-one -one guidance from them. Apart from that, there's also an observation period during which you can get accustomed to the course and you can back out if you don't feel like you like it. So what are you waiting for? There's a link down in the description. From there, you can check the course out, see it for yourself. And now let's get back to the video. Like, let's suppose I will tell you my experience. So KPMC conducts this, like you get two chances, one okay. for in your third year of, uh, to do internship and on your final year, to for a full-time role mm -hmm. so in my case it was internship i did give my what you can say 2021 code for good and then i did my third year internship and mm -hmm. which got converted into full-time mm -hmm. so yeah. there is one chance and if you miss that window then second mm -hmm. uh, like next year you can apply for the full-time now coming towards the hackathon so here thing is that like around 600 to 800 people i just said that it's mm -hmm. an all india level yeah. hackathon right and the thing is that JPMC will, you have to be in one of the JPMC centers like in Hyderabad, mm -hmm. in Bangalore or in Mumbai. So it's an in-person hackathon year. JPMC will sponsor mm -hmm. your stay, will sponsor your snacks, everything JPMC will sponsor you. That. And uh, here the teams like around six to seven sizes team is formed mm -hmm. and again, no two members from a same college will be placed in the same mm. team so basically yeah. here you don't have choice that I mm. will your friends will be there <laughs> yeah 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 that you are not given that choice and they will make sure that no two people from same college are in same team right mm. so it's totally new set of people and prior to the hackathon day like you get to introduce with your team members like prior to two two to three days prior you know your teammates they add you into the respective slack mm -hmm. channel right and then each team members gets like mentors so these mm -hmm. two mentors are jpmc employees a full-time yeah. employees like so they have like a decent three to five year of experience so now talking about the 
start you start with they provide you the problem statement there are six to seven problem statements so as this hackathon is for social good so what mm-hmm. happens here i i will tell you what is the idea here so there are seven to eight ngos they mm-hmm. come to jpmc and they say that this is our problem statement and hey we need some like solution for that right mm-hmm. and so jpmc like studies their problem statements and converts that problem statement into a problem statement which is a doable by a college graduate and you like you form your team you provide your solution and let's suppose your solution is really good then they mm-hmm. forward it to your ngo so that it's mm-hmm. social good like so you are actually working for a social good and mm-hmm. for an ngo and if your like performance is good then you are basically you will get offer from jpmc that either you are selected for an internship or full time offer so mm-hmm. that was like a higher level view of the hackathon the idea of the hackathon and what mm-hmm. the process is about now let's go into the details so now like as i said there are mentors associated right so mm-hmm. you have get around half an hour to discuss among the group members that what kind of problem statement you want to choose mm-hmm. and like there is a time window that within that, that time window you need to select that you can mm-hmm. take advice of your mentors also decide that what kind of set you have and provide choose your problem mm-hmm. statement according to it jpmc will make sure that they basically have a balance team so when mm-hmm. before the hackathon process there will be lot of forms coming out there where you have to fill in that what skill set you have in you are a front end mm-hmm. member you are a back end guy next one yeah. so it tries its best to balance the teams as much as possible so now the hackathon it's like a 24 hour process and in that you have your mentors two mentors associated to your team so basically they have two jobs one job is to help help the team by helping i mean you get any doubt any query or not suppose you you don't have clarity about how to go ahead in mm-hmm. your building some component then you can approach them you have any technical difficulties let's suppose you are using react and you mm-hmm. find some like com- issues then you can reach out to them and the second job what they are doing is that they are tracking you individually like let's suppose mm-hmm. you have a good team and one guy is there who is like not getting involved mm-hmm. in the team so then then that's noted or mm-hmm. on the opposite case let's suppose by your luck you get a bad team like your skill set don't match up and but you individually are giving a good contribution by this what i mean is that you are coming up with good idea so whatever your mm-hmm. discussion happens na that happens open on a round table so your mentor will just listen that what kind of ideas you have mm-hmm. so let's say and there can be a case where like you are a front end member okay and there are other also front end members which are doing the front mm-hmm. so you as of now don't have any work to do right mm-hmm. so they will yeah. see that also that you, this guy doesn't has work but he or she is coming up with good ideas to go ahead mm-hmm. he is doing other work like as a as a full time software engineer we know that apart from coding there are other works also So, yeah. to get clarity from business team to prepare cards on jira board to assign individual tasks kind of small small things are also been noted by this uh, mm-hmm. mentors which are associated with a team at mm-hmm. the end of the day it's these guys who are going to forward your review your individual performance review in respect of how your team performs to the hiring process that whether we mm-hmm. shall hire this person or no so here it's like a like good thing to note that have a proper communication with your team and mentors okay. also in between they will schedule you or what you can say breakout rooms kind of thing where yeah. they will have a one on one session with you they will ask mm-hmm. you like what you did what was your contribution so far what is your experience so make sure that you have a professionally like talk with them professionally be mm-hmm. official like i know that see i am also 2023 graduate so i know how college students talk about right so <laughs> make sure yeah. that you like you don't just go and talk with them like you're talking to your prof for your be, be be professional there so that's it like and each each problem statement was like let's suppose there are seven problem statements mm-hmm. and then there will be seven winners each problem statement has a separate oh, winner okay. okay so that process is like 24 hours completed then there is a code freeze code freeze mm-hmm. means you can't upload your code to github now now, now mm-hmm. like they provide your github repositories everything yeah so one thing i would say that like in to do preparations that make sure that you know basics of git at least mm-hmm. even if you front end back end guy but knowing the basics of git is like very essential mm-hmm. here okay like that then you're after 24 hours you are what you can say process is completed code freeze is there you can't upload your code then you have to prepare a ppt now in here like thing matters that in group who has good presentation skills <laughs> who you know mm. what to point out how to say that you done maybe you done less work but showing that mm. is another value, skill yeah yeah what value you are adding by this much amount mm. of work 
that is very important right so make sure that you have proper like study your peers and allocate right role to right person that's what i would suggest and you do you do your presentation and basically let's suppose for a one problem statement there were initially 30 teams and mm-hmm. after first round of presentation it's only presentation right nothing technical mm-hmm. you have to prepare a proper ppt yeah. right? okay and then you get shortlisted to another round that's like a sub part mm-hmm. okay now what happens in this round here like let's suppose from 30 10 teams get shortlisted mm-hmm. now out of those 10 teams all the 10 teams have have to give a technical demo like whatever mm-hmm. you prepared so it must be somewhat working like a mm-hmm. what you can say demo yeah like a deployed so from, version of your product yeah yeah right so you have to give that demo then there then in this round there will be some technical questions coming in mm-hmm. now those technical questions will be like not depending on any tech stack they will observe like what kind of tech stack you have used you have used mm-hmm. react you have used javascript typescript or a spring boot then they will ask you like why why particular this tech stack why why you choose this like or database using sql or no sql why sql so make sure that if you are using particular technology you mm-hmm. have a proper answer to justify it that yeah i am using this because of so and so this mm-hmm. was the need and this is the technology addressing it and we have a particular team member in our team who has that expertise or experience in the technology mm-hmm. so we choose it so you have to be clear there you can't just bluff there that ha i choose this because i know this that, that's <laughs> like no answer to give there okay and mm-hmm. at the end of the day after this final round there will be one winner for each problem statement and the winner mm-hmm. to winner let's suppose a team wins then definitely they are going to get the full time mm-hmm. offer for sure they also get a winner winner team like let's suppose there are seven members in the team then seven members get an ipad from jpmc oh. yeah so that's it and after the hackathon within 2 3 months results come that for full time offer so let's suppose your team doesn't even shortlist for the first round like uh, in the ppt round itself let's suppose your team is not selected mm-hmm. then also there is a high high chance i know many of them who were mm-hmm. not shortlisted in the ppt round but individually their performance was very good and they got the membership offer full time offer so that's the entire process so if you have any specific questions ahead then i can answer so it's like even if the team doesn't win and your individual performance is good either technically or with presenting then you still have a chance of getting selected right Thank you very much so what happened in your case like how was it for you yeah in my case my team i was shortlisted in the ppt round from ppt we go to the final round but in final round i was not, our team was not able to secure the first our particular problem statement so mm-hmm. yeah so i didn't in my time i didn't win the hackathon but i got the offer based on mm-hmm. my hands so it's also important to you know keep impressing the mentor that is there with you along with the judges of the hackathon right? yes so basically it's like a 24 hour interview only like you know but what happens in other <laughs> companies is. that there is an interview of 2 hours or 1 mm-hmm. hour right so it's 24 hours mentors are continuously monitoring mm-hmm. you they see like what kind of questions you come up with what if particular team is stuck like mm-hmm. there can be a senior where the first 4 3 hours you work and now your total work is waste because you were going in wrong direction mm-hmm. so now how you bounce back right uh-huh. like it often happens in tech that our requirements are scrapped like so our work is also scrapped right mm-hmm. you come up with this so in such scenarios these are the real life scenarios of software engineer faces mm-hmm. so how you bounce back or how you come up though you are technically not that proficient but mm-hmm. yeah that attitude or coming up with the right solution mm-hmm. right approach Just so like you're getting judged on all of those aspects yeah 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 so here i would as a tip i would say that when you know there is an engagement session also like one day prior to the hackathon when you know your mm-hmm. team there is a meeting mm-hmm. in person meeting where you meet your peers you meet your mentors in person right so that's before i come so that time is like you, you use that as a ice breaker you talk as much as possible you get to know each other you then you can decide what roles okay this guy is very active extrovert person right so he can mm-hmm. be someone who can like a scrum person he can be like mm-hmm. a person who can get updates and they ask about updates or keep track of them are we moving in the right mm-hmm. direction of okay, this is a very technical person he has a good knowledge of back end so let's give a back end to him let's suppose someone is in the front end but he is not good that doesn't have that good uh, technical proficiency mm-hmm. so maybe you can have like you you prepare the layout so by preparing layout mm-hmm. i mean going on that drawing board and preparing what visualizing it so yeah. that kind of roles if you have distributed initially one day prior na so this has lot of weightage mentors do take note of this that this team is quite aware of what role a guy has he or she having and is that person fulfilling that role yeah so jp morgan is a dream company for a lot of people so what advice would you give for freshers or for working professionals so that they can also crack a company like jp morgan and chase yeah so 
I would say first of all have a proper like understanding in data structures and algorithm that it must like mm-hmm. anywhere you go there as the first questions they are going to ask you is DSN I have seen in like as I said even if for full time or internship the first round is an online assessment so mm-hmm. in JPMC related it's easy I would say as compared to other big tech companies mm-hmm. but easy means lead code medium lead code easy they will ask mm-hmm. hardly there is very 0.1% chance that they will go to lead code hard but yeah if you are practicing lead code hard then lead code medium and easy is like a ball game for you so mm-hmm. that would I suggest first priority next is like I have a good proper resume with Uh, like full stack projects mm-hmm. so basically for the hackathon purpose web development you know then that's like uh, more than enough for a if you're trying for an internship if you're in third year and going to your final year so that's the summer of third year where you do your internship i, I will tell you max with so that time mm-hmm. i was new to i only know one stack that is i had that angela u course so that's a very famous course in college grads so uh, in also in my time was like a covid time right so i had a, mm-hmm. enough time to do that course so i could had very much prepared so for my team like i was a person who did entire back end and also mm-hmm. front end because like <laughs> I, i i had that kind of what you can say like somehow like mm-hmm. i had that skills to contribute right and i even mentor one mentor from front like uh, the, what tech did take note of this point mm-hmm. he he asked me like you are doing good you are, i see you have contributions front end mm-hmm. back end so that was a plus point for me okay mm-hmm. so having like here just doing dsa is not enough you have to be good in one of the technical stacks either that mm-hmm. can be mon stack or lots of other stack third year mm-hmm. though even if you do simple front end stuff or back end stuff i am not even saying full stack either mm-hmm. front end or back end side that's enough but it's if you are trying for a full time that is mm-hmm. if you are in your going for a, in your final year and that time you are trying then it's good to have a full stack profile like a full stack mm-hmm. uh, expertise not expertise but full stack experience you should have you should know that how front end communicates to back end how do you test it on your postman so how do you test it on your browser so like basically little little designing you must have like if you're mm-hmm. designing an api so that kind of knowledge you should have you should have proper as i said if you're using any any structure any api structure any system design then you should have a justification for it that mm-hmm. why i'm using this so that's what i say so <laughs> i think hackathon problem so yeah. you do it but you you make sure that you go fully prepared answers in the final presentation that a particular technology is used then why it is used okay so i guess that covers pretty much everything about how to crack a company like jpmc so thanks a lot onkar for coming on my channel and sharing your journey i hope to help a lot of students so thank you thank you